This is not about freedom or personal choice. We've been patient, but our patience is wearing thin. And your refusal has cost all of us. Get vaccinated. That was President Biden scolding average Americans for not getting vaccinated. But apparently, A-list celebrities get different treatment. Rapper Nicki Minaj claiming she got an invite to the White House after her tweets about the COVID vaccine. The Biden administration pushing back, saying they only offered a phone call to clear up any misconceptions or hesitancy she had. But Minaj insists the White House wanted her to come in person. And Julie, regardless, what we're getting is a clear delineation, right? That if you are an ordinary American that has legitimate questions about the vaccine, you are literally a murderer and there is a war being waged against you. But if you are a celebrity then they will engage with you and answer your questions. Yeah, I mean, the mere fact that she makes a stupid statement about her cousin's male anatomy that apparently didn't bode so well with the, I mean, he ended up impotent essentially from COVID vaccine. Whether that is true or not, I'm going to go with false. Um, The fact that the president actually entertained this is a joke because, you know, Hollywood thinks that they rule the roost when it comes to all things politics. So then when a dumb celebrity says something so stupid for the president to actually humor her and actually invite her to join her on a join him on a phone call it just sort of goes to show that obviously they believe that hollywood has some sort of say Mm -hmm. in what the rest of the country thinks Mm -hmm. because i personally don't allow celebrities to tell me how to feel or think but i guess the white house does and kaylee so according to biden we are as our fellow americans we're supposed to be angry quote Mm -hmm. at the unvaxxed and yet here to julie's point if you're a celebrity then you get a phone call yes and i look the white house puts a lot of stock in celebrities and social media stars remember that social media star i don't even know his name who they invited to the white house days before afghanistan collapsed and he was essentially allowed to run around the press secretary's offices so really interesting to see how much stock they put in celebrities you get a different treatment we'll invite you to the white house let me put a marker down and say i believe nikki minaj not the lying biden white house nikki minaj why, why would she lie about being invited to the white house to talk to dr fauci there would be no reason for her to do that but you're right her will invite her to the white house will cozy up to her but you average americans who haven't gotten vaccinated here's what we will say about you we've got to shape people at this point and say come on now we tried voluntary for the vast majority of you who've gotten vaccinated. I understand your anger at those who haven't gotten vaccinated. If you break the rules, be prepared to pay. And this was the day before Cedric Richmond, Emily, went out on MSNBC, or no, it was CNN rather, and he said, if you're a governor who loves freedom, I'm gonna run you down. Biden's gonna run you down. This is how the average Americans get treated. That's exactly right, Kennedy. There is such a chasm here between being an ordinary American, how you are treated by this administration, and whether you are a celebrity. And here's the thing, though. Here they got it right. You answer questions with information. You don't answer with mandates over messaging, which the administration has gotten wrong with everyone else this entire time. Well, and, and I think the reason the White House is reaching out to Nicki Minaj is 70% of African Americans in New York City are unvaccinated, and there's a great deal of skepticism, and rightly so. There's there's a lot of distrust between the African American community and the federal government. And Nicki Minaj is saying, I want to do some more research before I get the vaccine. What I would like to be a part of is the phone call between Anthony Fauci and Nicki Minaj, where he's going, <laughs> Nicki, the vaccine does not make your testicles swell up to the size of a grapefruit. The vaccine is not going to cause impotence. Tell your your friend in Trinidad that he's okay. It's probably something else. He can come see me in my office. Wow, that was really good. (laughs) Guy, that's a really hard act to follow, but what are your thoughts? (laughs) I have no words for this episode of Black Mirror. Uh, We live in the strangest timeline imaginable with Nicki Minaj tweeting out Tucker Carlson segments and denials from the White House and all this stuff. It's it's strange. Uh, I'm a very, very big proponent of the vaccine. I got vaccinated as soon as I could based on conversation with multiple doctors on the air and off the air. But I think, and Kennedy hinted at this as well, part of what is useful about this conversation and this bizarre sideshow, and it's a bit surreal with Nicki Minaj is, I know that there's a lot of people in the media and sort of the elite class who want to believe and want to insist that all vaccine skepticism or hesitancy comes from red baseball hat wearing Trump supporters, and they're the bad people, and therefore let's treat them as such. Nicki Minaj 
is not that, right? And the many, many supporters and fans of hers who are listening to her on this, many of them fall into very different demographics. And I think overall, whatever your approach is going to be on this, if there are people who genuinely want to ask questions, I agree with Emily, the solution is to answer those questions and deal with them with those people one-on-one -on -one or en masse because it's not just a, a sliver of the country uh, that you can put into a specific political box that has these questions. And I think that's been one of the mistakes of the approach here because it comes back to politics rather than persuasion or science. That's right. I love Nicki Minaj, and she has questions, and she's getting answers that she is seeking. And the condescension, though, that we've been getting from moment one from the media and this administration for ordinary Americans that have questions seems to have been evaporated when dealing with a celebrity.